Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and a lot going on. You know, there's a, there's an interesting thing going on. You're looking at CoinPaprika.com, one of my sponsors, and I want to show you, this is their, th these are the uh, return rates. I was looking at the 30-day return rates. In the top 30 digital assets, you have two that, caught, that catch my attention. One of them is the number 30 token, which is Quant, and then the other one is XRP, in the top 30, XRP and Quant have done better than anything else over the last 30 days. Now, of course, XRP is under a SEC lawsuit. Quant's not under any of those things. I believe that if um, I believe that if there were no SEC lawsuit, XRP may even dwarf what Quant's done. Um, I, in fact, I'd bet dimes to donuts. But I wanted to show. There's a lot. I noticed on social media. There's a lot of people that they think that that to to be interested in quant is somehow anti-XRP. <laughs> Not the case whatsoever. These are like a compliment to each other. First, I want to show you this video. Are very close to enterprises engaging with blockchain, but is like how big is the market at the moment already? Um, and, and what's your, your feeling about enterprise blockchain? Um, I think enterprise blockchain is the biggest market you can actually go after. If, if you look at one of the HSP... By the way, that is the CEO of Quant. His name is Gilbert Verdian. ...the reports uh, from last year that looked at what does is, what is digital assets look like by 2027? And it, it's it's in the trillions. You know, they're, they're, they're looking at a huge number because the number of tokenization that is happening, you know, you take a traditional security, you tokenize it, you, you make it a digital asset... Then you have payments and then you have settlements and, and then, you know, delivery reverse payments of digital, digital assets. Enterprise is, is where the market is. Um, you know, mm -hmm. on, on the, on the large scale, what's happening is, is, you know, entire systems are transforming and, and re-platforming and re-architecting to be compatible to decentralization. Not, not, they're not turning off what they've got and putting everything on blockchain. It, it does not work like that for enterprise. They've invested tens of billions and billions of, of dollars and pounds into their infrastructure uh, and that evolution over the last 10, 20 years, you, you can't stop that and start again on, on blockchain. But what you do is you take that existing investment in, into core infrastructure that, that enterprise have and you make it an integrated into blockchain and make it compatible to DLT. And that's what we're doing. You know, our, our core is to show how easy it is to integrate um, you know, with, through our API, whatever you've got that's existing to be able to talk to different digital assets and blockchains and transact across them. Uh, it, it's a huge market and we're excited because it's just at the beginning, you know, we're, we're only, only getting started and the adoption is, is happening. All right. And then there was uh, this. This was a tweet from Jeannie a while back. You so easily forget all the moves that have already been made. April, May, June were crazy months. Development of crypto market. Flair, Poly, Sun, Codius, Pastering, Interledger, Overledger, which that's quants. The sleeping giants are ready. I like these. These are, these are thumbnails. Sleeping giants are ready. Um, I'm writing this down. Giants ready. Okay. And then it will be sudden. <laughs> I like that. It will be sudden thank you genie good that's a good thumbnail right there and then xrp king i already used that thumbnail in the last few days so i'm not going to use that one but i want to remind everybody so so this is from uh this is from the digital pound foundation and you've you've seen several of these they've been doing these con online conferences this guy's from quant in cooperation with ripple i'm just showing you that the, the, this is not um, some battle, Quant versus uh, versus Ripple or whatever. This is uh, these are complementary uh, things. And then you've got this from the Digital Euro Association. Here's a guy from Quant and uh, in cooperation with Ripple. Then I wanted to show you this tweet from this is from Anders L, who's a big Quant guy from back uh, a while back. Let me see when that was when he tweeted this October seventeenth. No. July 19th, 2021. This is Gilbert Verdian from Quant. 
Thank you, SEQ, for the great insight detail. We are agnostic and interoperating with different blockchains, including Ripple XRP Ledger. Similarly, by connecting to Overledger, we help provide market access, more users, clients, from enterprise permission blockchains and public permissionless blockchains to the Ripple network and vice versa. Some use cases by using Overledger, internal Corda Overledger, Ripple XRP Ledger. Um, and then this one is Hyperledger Corda 1, Overledger, Hyperledger Net, uh, Ripple XRP Ledger, Ripple XRP Overledger, JPM Coin. Looks like he, it's interoperator operating with both JPM Coin, Libra Overledger, which there's no Libra anymore, then XRP Ledger. Binance chain over ledger XRP ledger. So it's interoperating between other chains and the XRP ledger. I also see a use case with our universal utility token approach where we can move digital assets across networks powered by quant and then do settlement with XRP, a central bank digital currency or USC. And then finally this, this was from Gilbert Verdian himself. And I, um, I said quant is a compliment to XRP. I don't think it's a coincidence that digital assets with real to utility are surging. No one, no use case, no value. The utility bull run is the one. Yes, that's thumbnail worthy too. The one. Um, and then um, if you look, this is Gilbert Verdian from Quant's tweet from October 5th, 2018. We created a dis decentralized Amazon running simultaneously on Ethereum, Ripple, and Bitcoin blockchains. Only possible through Overledger, real-world enterprise use case which combines the features and data on desperate blockchains, um, disparate blockchains, to deliver new products and solutions to customers. Just wanted to make sure I drove that point home. Now, United States Treasury is exploring a debt buyback. That, that almost sounds like an XRP buyback, but it's not the same thing. When the country is $31 trillion in, in debt, the Federal Reserve posted its first operating loss in years. This is where we are now. Now, folks, this weekend when I saw this, I immediately, the first thing that popped in my mind is what a coincidence it is that the just last week, Ben Bernanke is given, Ben Bernanke, who ran the Federal Reserve during the financial crisis, he was given a, um, a Nobel Prize in economics. This is how these people operate. They, they, they build statues to themselves for failures. This is how government works. Failure is rewarded in the real world out here where we are. Failure is rewarded with being fired, but not in government, not in, not in the bureaucracy, and certainly not if you've got a, a, um, an Ivy League degree. All of a sudden, you can fail over and over and over and cost trillions of dollars and destroy economies and get a Nobel Prize. This is a cartoon that illustrates, illust that illustrates the absurdity of the Federal Reserve better than anything you've ever seen. Here they talk about Ben Bernanke and it's hilarious because they refer to him as the Bernanke. You can think of anything. No, nothing. Who runs the Fed? The Fed is run by the Ben Bernanke. Does the Ben Bernanke have a lot of business experience? No, the Ben Bernanke has no business experience. Does the Ben Bernanke have a lot of policy experience? No, the Ben Bernanke has no policy experience. Has the Ben Bernanke ever run in an election? No, the Ben Bernanke has never run in an election. So what qualifies him to run the Fed? I don't know maybe the fact that he has a nice beard. But my plumber also has a nice beard, and I would not trust him to play God with the economy. No, although when you call the plumber to fix something that is broken, they usually fix it, not break it more. This is true, the plumber is clearly smarter than the Ben Bernanke. Well, that is why he became a plumber, and not an economist. How does the Fed execute the quantitative easing? They print the money, and then they buy the treasury bonds. Do they buy the treasury bonds from the treasury department? No, they buy the treasury bonds from the Goldman Sachs. You must be shitting me. No. So let me get this straight. If I want to buy the treasury bonds with my money, I can buy them directly from the treasury. Yes. And if you want to buy the treasury bonds with your money, you can buy them from the treasury. Right. But if the Ben Bernanke wants to buy the treasury bonds using the American people's money, he does not buy them from the treasury, he buys them from the Goldman Sachs? Exactly. And does the Goldman Sachs give them a good price? 
Of course not, they are the Goldman Sachs. They make their living ripping off the American people. But how is the Goldman Sachs able to do this? The Fed announces what it is going to buy, and when it is going to buy, before it does the trade. So the Goldman Sachs can front run the Fed, and give them the worst possible price on the treasury bonds? Yes, exactly. And I mean, it just makes you furious and laugh at the same time watching that. It's unbelievable. I, that clip came out somewhere back, I think, after the financial crisis, somewhere around that time, and it's a classic. It's got like over 6 million views. Okay, check this out. Today, there was a conference talking about tokenizing gold. Very interesting. More pieces of the puzzle. When I saw this, the first thing that came to my mind was this video that I've shown you before, but it's worth watching again. The first part is Jimmy Valley with Linda P. Jones, and the second part is a Bloomberg um, video that was put out a while back. National currencies with a, uh, on a gold standard, just like Russia has done, right? Mm -hmm. But that they wouldn't, it was too cumbersome uh, in, a, in, in the world we live in today to be putting you know, tons of gold on military aircraft and shipping them back and forth between countries to settle up, you know, transactions at the central bank level. So why not, you know, price a, a digital asset? Why not use the best one, the most useful, and basically just tie that one to one to an ounce of gold? And that's where we kind of came up with this, you know, concept that you could see some people sitting around the table going, we're going to go back to a gold standard. We're going to write up these assets. We're going to write up gold into what the implied price already was. Uh, and then using XRP to communicate that value uh, digitally instead of having to actually do it physically. With central bank stimulus weakening the dollar and gold being only about $100 short of its all-time high, a question has started to arise, can gold replace the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency? The dollar has enjoyed this status for decades, but since it detached itself from the gold standard in 1971, it's essentially consistently weakened on a macro level. Confidence in the U.S. government and the political system in the U.S. is one of the keys, and gold doesn't have that issue of a loss of confidence. But what it does have is a problem with transportability. That's why it's more likely that a currency backed in gold, or even a digital asset backed in physical gold, could potentially replace the dollar much more easily than the actual physical bar of gold could. How about that? And then this was an interesting tweet from Robert Kiyosaki, who is the um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad book. Why I no longer recommend real estate in my 2020 book of Capitalist Manifesto. I stated Marxists took over the U.S. in the 2020 election. Marcus will ra Marxists will raise property taxes, impose rent controls as rising interest rates decrease property values. I recommend gold, silver, Bitcoin. If you think about it, folks, this is what's interesting. There is nothing... There's really nothing besides physical metals that you can that you can even own that the government can't can't tax like crazy. We're, here we are. Make no mistake, folks. If you're an American citizen, the and you see this thirty trillion in debt, make no mistake. They're coming for you and me in the end on this thing. Okay, they're So if you own real estate, even if you own it paid for, they're going to tax us into oblivion. To get to it and and ironically physical gold even digital assets that i think they created digital assets partially because of how easy it'll be to tax them um but but physical gold is something they cannot they don't even know you have it <laughs> I mean, they can't prove it um so anyway and i'm not look that's not, I'm not making that statement to say go out and get gold to avoid taxes. That's not what I'm saying. You need to pay taxes on your gold too. Uh, but I'm just saying that's that's why he's he, they could property taxes can always be increased if 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 things get rough. But I, what I'm doing is I'm buying physical gold and my sponsor Glint. I'm go, and in fact I think I'm going to go in and buy some gold in my Glint account this week. Um, the link to this, and the reason I'm doing this is I can I have physical gold, then I have Glint gold in my uh, in my Glint account, 
that has my debit MasterCard attached to it so that I can literally spend grams of gold and use it for purchasing power purposes. The link to this will be in the top of the description of this video and you can click on it and tell them DAI sent you. I saw this tweet. This tweet literally made me want to throw up this weekend. I know a guy who turned $8,000 into $5.4 million with a few altcoins and then turned $5.4 million to $0 with Luna. You are reading this tweet right. Ouch. Then today, this morning, this, this came out, an 85-minute block interval left more than 13,000 transactions stuck in pending state on Monday. Blocks are typically confirmed every 10... This is Bitcoin, folks. Max Kaiser has been going on and on about calling XRP garbage and all this stuff all weekend. And so I asked him, I said, hey, Max, does this, this Bitcoin pile of garbage come with a Kickstarter? My XRP is working just fine. <laughs> Then MasterCard's launching a program to let financial institutions offer crypto trading to their clients. That's from CNBC. And finally, North Korean hacker group Lazarus has targeted crypto firms in Japan with malware infected links, resulting in the theft of undisclosed amounts of cryptocurrency. Folks, one of my sponsors, Ledger, go, click in the top of the description, go get a Ledger Nano S, hold your own keys. Write all your past phrases down and never duplicate them and put them somewhere safe. It's the only safe way to do it. There's hackers everywhere. There's governments that want to uh, do who knows what everywhere. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Tell your friends and family to go get their Ledger Nano S. Quit, not Net S. They don't have an S anymore. They have... Let's click and see what they're, which ones they have. They have a Nano X, a Nano S Plus, and then you can get 10% off if you get a, a band. They've got several bundles you can get.